in number 5 we are required to find the value of k such that k um, is the y coordinate of point A and point A lies on this curve. So we know that um, at x is equals to 2 or at point A if we plug in um, the x and y coordinates at point A then the left hand side of this equation will be equal to the right hand side. So we can start and say that um, at uh, x is equal to 2, we shall have um, 2, basically replacing 2 in place of x in this equation, we'll have 2 um, multiplied by 2 squared um, multiplied by k, because y is k, plus 3 multiplied by k squared uh, will be equal to 16. Now, if we simplify that equation, we'll end up with uh, 8k plus 3k squared will be equal to 16. <clears throat> and therefore, what we can do here is um, basically just bring everything to one side so that we end up with a um, quadratic equation. So 3k squared plus 8k minus uh, 16 will be equal to 0. Now what we can do is because we, we are interested in the value of k, we shall be required to factorize this quadratic equation and by splitting the middle term so that will be 3k squared uh, plus 12k uh, minus 4k uh, minus 16 is equals to 0. Because if you add these two, you end up with 8k. If you multiply um, 12 multiplied by 4, you end up with negative 48, which is the same as 3 multiplied by negative 16. Um, and then what we can do here is to factorize um, the first two and the last two terms. So if we factorize the first two and the last two terms, we shall end up with um, 3k into k plus 4. And then here we can have minus 4 into k plus 4 is equal to 0. So we end up with 3k minus 4 multiplied by um, k plus 4 being equal to 0. Now, because you're interested in the solutions for the value of k, so either here k will be equal to 4 over 3 or k will be equal to negative 4. But now the condition here is that k is less than zero, which implies that k has to be equal to negative four. Right, so that's the value of k. For part b of this question, we are required to um, find the gradient of the normal to the curve at a, but we know that uh, the product of the gradient of the normal and the gradient of the tangent is equal to negative 1. So we can start by finding the gradient of the tangent to the curve at A, which is same as um, just the gradient of the curve at A. So to find that, we have to find dy over dx. So dy over dx will be equal to um, or actually we shall be required to just differentiate this term by term and then find d over dx. So d over dx, this is part b by the way, so this is part b. Um, and we differentiate term by term, so 2x squared y plus derivative of 3y squared will be equal to the derivative of 16. Okay, now, um, <clears throat> for this part here, this is a product of two functions, so we'll have to use product rule, so that will be equal to 2x squared 
multiplied by the derivative of uh, y plus y multiplied by the derivative of 2x squared um, plus now the derivative of this if you use um, chain rule because you have a function inside another function outside that will be 6y and then uh, inside will be just pdy over dx which will be equal to 0 and then we can finish this off so this will be equal to 2x squared dy over dx uh, plus uh, this will be 4x so that will be 4xy um, because that's just 4x um, <clears throat> And then here we have uh, 6y dy over dx being equal to 0. So now what we can do is to bring the y's on one side. And, you know, 4xy can be taken to the right-hand side. So we'll end up with 2x squared um, dy over dx plus 6y dy over dx will be equal to negative 4xy. And then at that point, we can factorize out dy over dx. So 2x squared plus 6y multiplied by dy over dx will be equal to negative 4xy. So dy over dx will be equal to negative 4xy over 2x squared plus 6y. Okay, so... <clears throat> Once you have that, um, we can go ahead and find um, the gradient of the tangent at the point 2, negative 4. So we can say that at the point 2, negative 4, gradient of the tangent will be equal to so we plug uh, 2 in place of x in the gradient function and negative 4 in place of y in the gradient function. So that will be equal to um, negative 4 multiplied by 2 multiplied by negative 4. All this over 2 multiplied by 2 squared um, plus 6 multiplied by negative 4. And this will be equal to negative 2. So basically the gradient of the tangent is negative 2, which implies that the gradient of the normal will be equal to a half. Because like I said, the product of the gradient of the tangent and the normal should be equal to negative 1. <clears throat> 